It is the rain that's coming. <laughs> it's been hot, even it has. by my standards. And right. you know, yeah, I know you you come from a tropical climate, right, right. in Florida, and uh, we definitely have had high temperatures Humid and too. humidity. Yes. Yeah, that's the big thing. When you first moved here, I said, usually our dew points don't get above, above maybe 72, 73. Yeah, but they're right at that uh, for today and have been over the last several days, and those temperatures have been in the mid-90s in the afternoon, so we've had heat index values approaching 100 degrees. We're going to get a break from the heat, it looks like, this week. And look at the skies over high point today. We got a break from most of the stormy weather over the weekend. There were a few spots where we did have some storms. Problem was where they were. They were pretty intense and taking down some trees across our region over the weekend from Yadkin County even down into Davidson County today. Here's where we're headed this week. Our temperatures are not as hot, so a touch cooler, close to 90 degrees, maybe even only some upper 80s. We've got scattered storms every day this week, damaging winds, excessive rainfall. Those are our concerns. So the normal highs in the upper 80s this time of year, and we are looking at temperatures that are really close to normal for this week, but it will remain humid. We did get a 90 degree day today, so that makes 13 for the month of July, 24 for the season. We made it up to 92 this afternoon, so that's a few degrees above our average, but not record setting. The records are up close to 100 right now. 79 in Greensboro at this hour, 81 in Winston-Salem, 77 in North Wilkesboro, as well as Mount Airy. We do have higher rain chances this week, especially on Tuesday and Wednesday as the front gets close to us, doesn't quite make it through here. And then another front arriving Friday into Saturday and Sunday also will likely stall out, but up our rain chances. So we've got a few storms tomorrow and maybe a less chance of thunderstorms on Thursday if you're trying to plan out your week. We also have a chance for some severe thunderstorms from any that do develop. We're in that marginal risk, that threat level one out of five. You can see here on the screen that things are quiet now, and I anticipate that it'll stay quiet overnight. You shouldn't hear any noise in the form of thunder. We did have a couple of storms earlier today, one over Randolph County, another one over Davidson County, and that one produced some wind damage with multiple trees reported down Lexington, west of Lexington as well. That front is way up there over Indiana, but it's going to get a little bit closer by tomorrow afternoon, so we could have a few isolated storms across the area. Best chance for storms, mountains and foothills. And then notice as this wave moves along that front on Tuesday, we'll see the activity become a little more widespread for everyone. And we have that marginal risk area extending down to Charlotte for Tuesday. Tomorrow, just north of Charlotte, but including the triad as well as the mountains and foothills for the threat for severe thunderstorms. Damaging wind is the main threat, so we're in that zone for tomorrow, but we could also have frequent lightning. We've had a lot of that lately and some isolated flooding as a possibility. Tomorrow morning, you wake up with clouds and fog around. We may see a shower before lunchtime, mountains and foothills, but we'll see most of the activity in the early afternoon and most of it again, mountains and foothills, and then maybe an isolated shower or storm that kind of trickles south and east into the Piedmont Triad. But I don't anticipate that we're going to see a lot. So we've got a 30% chance, high temperature of 91 in the Triad communities, higher percentages though in coverage of storms in the foothills with a high of 89. Mountains are in the low 80s tomorrow afternoon starts a little sooner is a little more widespread. Let's take a look at this week's forecast and yeah, it's going to look real stormy. Most of this happens after lunchtime in the afternoon and evening. We've got a severe risk again on Tuesday. I think perhaps it'll be a little drier on Thursday, but you just need to pay attention to the skies as we will likely have storms every day.